My first memory of a chipao is probably I found one in my mother's closet. She had this red velvet chipao that was pretty different from everything else that she'd wear. The next time that I saw a chipao was in college. I took a film class, Chinese film, and there I saw probably the most famous instance of chipao in modern media. It was only after I moved back to Shanghai that I discovered the Chi Pao again. I never considered it as a possible career. I fell in love not only with the idea of how a Chi Pao looks, but how a Chi Pao is made. Because the special thing about a Chi Pao is that it's custom tailored. But the first thing that happens with a Chi Pao is you start with a woman. Every Chi Pao is a different woman. To me, the idea of getting something custom made to yourself, that's haute couture and that's pretty unachievable for most people. The way that my designs are different from the traditional chipaos is probably mainly in the fabrics that I choose. Most of the fabrics I offer are silks and I go and source them myself. I go into Hangzhou and Suzhou, which are two regions of China very famous for their silk production. I choose fabrics that tend to be a bit more modern, softer silks, very brightly colored silks, polka dots, that kind of thing. So after you've selected your fabrics, you customize your design, everything from the sleeve, how high your collar is going to be, lining. I like to choose two fabrics because then you get double the pleasure. Buttons, there's a button making activity out there. We make all of our own buttons from silk because it's just that much more special. It's a different kind of feeling. It's a different dress. This is about a process in addition to a product. That's why I love the cheap house because you spend a lot of time putting thought into what you're going to get. And then so this, this dress has history with you. The Chi Pao, the height of its popularity, must have been around 1930. So we're coming back to the time when it's quite charming. I think in the next 20 years, especially with people in China becoming more aware of their power, they want to look back into their heritage. And I hope that Chinese dress will incorporate more of its own history and that it'll have more of an influence around the world in the next 20 years. Je